Welcome in YCN Sports Talk, Jeremy Stout, and this week joining me is Rob Taylor, Executive Director of the Lebanon Area Chamber of Commerce. Rob, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Thanks, good to be here. Love it. And uh, especially, I'm sure you love it, you're a big Red Sox fan and they are four and a half games up in the division, looking good. Winning two out of three against the Yankees this past weekend, it looked uh, kind of questionable after Friday night. They blew the lead, blew the game. Saturday, a good win, and then Sunday, Chris Sale, another great performance, but uh, hung on there at the end, come home, score 10 runs last night. This team's looking good right now. Yeah, you know, I think it, we're in a good position. Uh, <clears throat> I think they're coming up on their 120th game of the season. Yep. And, uh, you know, that means there's about 40 games 40 left games. in the season. And uh, there's a lot of those games against divisional rivals. And, of course, we've got uh, homestand against the Yankees. Yeah, Yankees coming We're back. going down there to play them, too. So, um, you know, obviously, uh, I don't think the Red Sox have it tied up by any means. It's still a lot of baseball to be played. But I like our chances if we can stay healthy. Right, and, and that's the big thing is they might not have it locked up. Four and a half games, I mean, anything can happen. We've seen that. But you got to imagine with only a quarter of the season left, they're clearly the front runner, obviously, by, by being so many games up and beating the Yankees two out of three at Yankee Stadium. You kind of get that comfort. Chris Sale's going to be pitching in every series. They've lined it up for the Red Sox against the Yankees. So you always think, okay, you got that one win in your back pocket. And the way he's been pitching... I mean, you can almost count it as a win before he starts. Absolutely. He's having a hell of a season, and I'm sure we'll be talking a little bit later about him some more. But uh, like I said, I'm, I'm really confident. I think coming into this uh, stretch, coming, you know, the home stretch basically right. of yeah. the season, I think the Red Sox are in a good position. And, of course, you and I know that the team that basically makes it into the end, not always the best team, but right. it's the team that sort of has everything together in terms of injuries. Uh, you know, the mesh is still tight and uh, – We'll hope that stays going. Right, and, and you mentioned <laughs> there's a lot that goes into it. These last 40 games, they've got some tough ones. They've got some easy ones. But if you're saying, okay, they get to the playoffs, which I think we both think they can at this point, what might be some of their weaknesses? I mean, we saw over the weekend their bullpen struggled, their offense struggled at times. But then again, last night, like I said, coming through with eight runs in, in, in one inning, batting around. So their offense comes and goes. Their bullpen statistically is one of the best in the league, but also has their problems. Any any glaring weaknesses? Yeah, I that... think the big question mark in terms of the bullpen is what are they going to do with Kimbrel? Uh, right. Uh, how do they plug him in? You know, what inning is he the best, mm -hmm. uh, most well used at? Uh, you know, I just think it's uh, can we keep the momentum? Can we keep winning like they have been and uh, keep guys healthy? You know, I I'm a little worried that they, you know they got a lot of young talent. Uh, you know, when when the you know, rubber meets the road, you right. rely on them really heavily. We'll see how they perform. Certainly, history as our indicator, they've done really well with young talent right. through the years to, to win a bunch of championships. So. Right, and last year, getting to the playoffs and struggling, we saw some of the guys really struggle. But maybe the second time around, even third or fourth times around, I mean, Xander Bogarts was here in 2013 when they won. Uh, ben Intendi now it's his his first full year, and he's coming along strong. Yep. Raphael Devers continues to hit, but he's one of those young guys. Going to a veteran now, we talked about him, you touched on him, Chris Sale. Mm -hmm. uh, big favor for Cy Young. i got to think he's wrapped it up. But mm -hmm. Corey Kluber for the Indians maybe has something left in the tank. But is Chris Sale in the running for MVP, or is that kind of is that a little too high of a bar? Ah, uh, you know, if you read the Boston papers, they definitely think he's got a shot. Shaughnessy and those guys are definitely kind of pulling for him. They think that there's certainly an argument to be made. There was a time when a pitcher was not even considered. They right. just didn't play enough ball, you know, to right. basically be in the in the uh, equation. But certainly this year, you know, there was a couple of guys that I thought were cruising for it in the first part of the season and sort of cooled down. Mm -hmm. The kid from the Yankees. Yeah, uh, uh, Aaron Judge. Yeah, yep. the guy that was hitting all the home runs. He certainly seems to have cooled off. Uh, you know, uh, oh, it's a trout out in Yeah, uh, trout was hurt for a while. Missed a bunch of games. So right. I would say, you know, certainly with the numbers that Sale is putting up, I think he's a real strong argument for, at least right now, as, right. as an MVP. And there's, and there's six weeks left in the season. Jose Altuve from the Astros coming on strong. He's pretty good. Mike Trout, despite the injury, he's playing well. And if the Angels, they're right now, I think they're tied for wild card position, or they're right there. So they come on strong. He could win MVP as well, again, despite missing 30 or 40 games. So anything could happen. Obviously, a lot of baseball to be played. Pedro Martinez in 99 with the pretty good season still missed out on MVP, even though he had a dominant season. So you never know what these voters are going to do. And when we come back, we'll touch on the Patriots. They have some joint practices 
with the Houston Texans this week. You're watching YCN Sports Talk.